Welcome back again. This is Mike Sandoval with Muse. We are here for our Muse Local Music Spotlight with our friends. Go, Betty, go. So let me introduce you guys. What's wrong? Aixa, Betty, Michelle, and Nicolette at the end. Yeah. So let's talk. We're here at the Roxy. You're playing your album release show tonight. So how's everything going now that you're finally at this point? The album's about to be released to the world. How's this it feel? We're smooth sailing now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one step at a time. Tonight's a show, and um, we're we're excited. We're really excited that we have the opportunity again to to put out new music and and have a record release show for it. It's been ten years since the last album. Woo. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's true. No. Yeah. I, I just believe this have. happened. I don't know yeah. <laughs> where the, the time's last, gone. The last album when it came out, I had longer hair and also it wasn't gray. <laughs> But, <laughs> but hey, it's still gray. Uh, so, tell us a little bit about reboot. What was it? How? What was it, the process of making it, writing the songs? What? What is? What was it like? What was it like? Um, well, some of the ideas we already had. Mm -hmm. Some of the ideas came how they always come together, which is when we're all together, we just um, work out the songs. We have some ideas, and um, some of them didn't make it on the on the EP some of them we'll maybe come back to but um it, it was kind of the same process as always um, the, the first song that was written was it haunts you now which has kind of like a groovier rock and roll bluesy vibe to it and um and i liked establishing the theme as something a little a little darker um and so yeah that's how it all began and reboot because we're rebooting this shit it's yeah, <laughs> <we're> coming out <laughs> yeah. i think reboot is just like the process of us hanging out again like that's what came of it you know just it was just for me i mean i didn't think about the songs like what we're going to talk about mm -hmm. write about or anything it was just hanging out with the girls again and that's what came of it yeah it's a bit more relaxing than like nothing is more because that we were in a studio Monday through Friday yeah. from this time to this time where it was just like okay right like right now you guys have to make yeah. something this was more relaxed <laughs> Tell us to write. It was, yeah. like, it was hard. Yeah. It was harder that way. But this, this was just chill, hanging out. Mm -hmm. Nikki made his dinner a few times, and it was yeah. just fun hanging out. <laughs> and then the record came out, so that's cool. Totally. Cool. <laughs> well, well, we just got back from CES, so crowdfunding was a big thing over there. Right. You, the band, crowdfunded for this album. Yeah. So how would you? F how did? How was the experience to be able to bring your fans that close to a band that normally? Other bands don't really do that that often, and they feel a part of it now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was uh, well. First of all, we weren't sure about it. We were mm -hmm. a little hesitant because it's it's a scary feeling to say, okay, we're we're you're vulnerable because you put yourself out there saying like, hey, can you help us make this? Mm -hmm. um, and and we went for it, and we made our goal, and we got to know a lot of our fans, a lot of fans that we knew existed, a lot of new fans, and it's just a way to break that wall down and say. Thank you so much for helping us. And they're just as excited as you are to make it. So it really is just a whole group pro process together. So we're excited to be hearing the album. We saw the video. The video was amazing. It was dark. A little scary if you watch it after dark. But we're excited about it. We're glad you're back. And you've supported us from day one. So we will we'll always be supporting you. Don't forget to subscribe to their channel, subscribe to their Facebook page at Go Betty Go Official on Facebook. Nikki, stop barking. And <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> That's what happens usually when we're doing interviews here is somebody starts barking in the group. I'm hungry. Usually it's me, but exactly. It just, it's the way it happens. But don't forget to follow them on Facebook, Go Betty Go Official. Check out their website. Shows are going to be playing, and thank you very much. Yeah.